Welcome back dear students. Let's continue with exercise 7b. Let's start with question number 7 today. So here, see the question says, if the price of sugar is increased by 25% today, by what percent should it be decreased tomorrow to bring back the price back to the origin? See, here what is happening is initially you are increasing the price of sugar by 25% today okay so you are increasing today means presently you have you know uh, price is 25% more than the original one okay now tomorrow if you want, want to bring back whatever is today if you want to bring back the cost to the original one by what percentage should today's cost should be decreased? That's what the question is asking you. Okay, so let me take the original price that is yesterday's price. Okay, so let the original price be original price price be equals to rupees 100. So let's say this is your original price of the sugar. Okay, so therefore, what will be today's price? So today's price will be, it is increased by 25%, right? So first and foremost, it is rupees 100 is already there. And you are increasing by 25%, right? So you are increasing by 25% of rupees 100. So when you calculate this, this will be nothing but rupees 125. So you have rupees 125. To be today's price now you want to decrease this right so tomorrow's price is given to be so tomorrow's price okay so tomorrow's price has to be the same one right tomorrow's price has to be the original one because you want to decrease and get back to the original one right so tomorrow's price is going to be rupees again 100 okay so that's why therefore percentage decrease okay percentage decrease so first and foremost by how much it has to be decreased from 125 you are going to 100 right so it is decreased by 25 so if we write 125 minus 100 and what is today's price that will come in the denominator what is today's price it is 125 and since you are finding percentage you have to multiply by 100 okay so 25 minus 100 is 25 by we have 125 into we have 100 percent right so you know uh, so 25 ones are 25 25 fives are 125 5 ones are 5 5 20 is 100 so that's why your percentage decrease has to be by 20 percent simple pause the video and note down your solution let's move to next question so next question is a simple one which says a number is increased by 15% and when it is increased by 15% it becomes 931. Question is asking you to find the number. Okay, so this question is pretty easy. So what you need to do is we will take first and foremost let me take uh, the required number to be x. Okay, so let the required let the required number be x okay now according to question according to question what we are having is this is initial number so when it is increased by 15 percent okay when you increase it by 15 percent your resulting answer resulting number becomes 391 so from here you need to calculate what is x so it's simple so 15 by we have 100 into x equals to 391 okay so let's do uh, cancellation out here so 5 3 is a 15 5 20 is a 100 so that's why from here you get x plus 3 into x is 3x by 20 equals to 391 so when you simplify this okay so 20 into x 20x plus 3x is 23x by 20 is equals to 391 so from here keep x as it is so 39 just wait a minute 
we have 391 into this 20 goes out here and in the denominator you get 23 okay so we have to do the cancellation again so 391 divided by 23 so if you do the cancellation you get exactly 17 okay so just multiply these two you get 17 into 2 is 34 and you have got 0 also so we'll put 0 okay so therefore the value of x is 340 means what it means that the required number is therefore the required okay so required number is 340 in this case all right so you may pause the video and note down your solution right so from here onwards uh, all the sums are of similar type okay let me show you one question at a time so first question uh, question number 10 says two numbers are respectively 20 percent and 50 percent more than the third number remember the keyword here is more okay so there are see three numbers okay so there are first number second number and third number okay how much ever is this first number is 20 percent more okay second number is 50 percent more than the third number that's what is the meaning of this okay so let me take uh, let me take the third number to be 100 okay so if i take third number to be 100 let's see what do we get so let the third number be 100 okay therefore the first number what will be the first number first number is 20 percent more right so we have 100 plus 20 percent of 100 so when you calculate this you get 120 so the first number is 120 now what will be the second number second number is 50 percent more so it is 100 is already there so you have 50 percent more okay so if i ask you to calculate this this will be exactly 150 all right now question is asking what percent is the second of the first okay so second one is what percent of this that's what the question is asking okay so therefore percentage of second number right percentage of second number with respect to okay with respect to which one with respect to the first number so second number should come in the numerator second number is 150 and the first number you know first number should go to the denominator so we have 120 in the denominator into since you are finding percentage you have to multiply by 100 okay so remember 0 and 0 gets cancelled so can we cancel with 3 yes so 3 5s are 15 3 4s are 12 4 1s are 4 4 25s are 100 so 5 into 25 is how much 125 so that's why your answer for this particular question will be 125 percent okay so you may pause the video and note down your solution let's move to next question now so next question is also similar as i told you in the beginning but this time question says two numbers are respectively 20 percent and 50 percent of a third number so this time there is no more or less written out here okay so again as uh, the earlier one so let me take let the third third number be 100 as usual so therefore your first number is said to be first number is 20 percent of the third number right so it is 20 percent of the third number is 100 so what is 20 percent of 100 it is just 20 now question is saying second number is 50 percent of the third number that is 50 percent of third number is 100 so it is how much it is exactly 50 all right now we got 20 and we have got the 50 as the first and second number so therefore again question is asking you percentage of second number with respect to first number okay so therefore percentage of second number second number with respect to wrt means with respect to first number with respect to first number is so i as i said second number should come in the numerator so second number is 50 
okay and uh, the first number is 20 it should come in the denominator so into we have 100 percent so do the cancellation so you get 5 here so 5 fives are 25 so you get 250 percent to be your answer right so pause the video and note down your solution all right so here we have a similar kind of uh, question you know uh, let me take uh, uh, the third number let the third number be again 100 so this time first number okay first number is given to you 30 percent less than the third number so third number is there so since it is less you need to subtract by 30 percent so 30 percent of 100 so when you do this you get 70 similarly second number will be 40 percent less so it is 100 minus 40 percent of 100 so this will be exactly 60 now question is asking you find the what percent is the second of the first so you will complete it okay you will complete by yourself okay so i am not going to complete this last problem so with this we close this particular exercise okay and the rest of the sums you can try by yourself okay so with this we close thank you very much